Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's take a look at Emperor's Own. Yeah, Smart War Games here. Sound is working. <clears throat> yeah, looks quite interesting. 19th century RPG. Inspired by the Russian Empire. And yeah, you can play this game in English. I watched a trailer. I was not that, not that super impressed by the English localization. However, I like to play games in the native language uh, with so we will do it, I guess, Russian with English subtitles and interface. That's how I prefer it. If this is inspired by the Russian Empire, we will do it like this. Good. Other than that, I think we are fine here in the options. Oh, it's just so hard. Perhaps we can do it. Okay. Свежие рапорты. И тебе доброе утро. Господа, пришло время выяснить, что именно происходит в приграничных землях. Доклады и байки, которые мы оттуда слышим, становятся все более безумными каждый день. Привидения, люди с головами волков, сатанинские жертвоприношения, мертвецы, вылезающие из могил. Сам дьявол замечен не менее пяти раз. Последнее особенно удивительно, потому что Володя даже близко не был к тем краям почти год. Надеюсь, тебе это по-прежнему будет казаться смешным, когда я тебя заставлю чистить туалеты до утра. Все же это наконец-то свершилось. Черн сошла с ума. Неужели мы вправду будем терять наше время на крестьянские суеверия? Сначала мы не собирались. Кое-какие из них нам показались даже немного забавными. Но недавно до нас дошли гораздо более зловещие слухи. Некоторым мужикам взбрело в голову, что все это происходит из-за того, что император утратил божью милость. И если не произойдут перемены на самом верху, то в скором времени нас всех поглотят нечистые силы. Понятно. Подобные дела имеют свойство выходить из-под контроля, если их вовремя не пресечь. Поэтому надо положить этому конец как можно быстрее. Вы поскачете в Благоярскую губернию вместе. Потом разделитесь на две части. Володя и Женя поедут в сам Благоярск. Дима, Коля и Саша, вы проверите деревни и хутора в его окрестностях. Какие приказы? Определите источники этих слухов. Найдите агитаторов, которые их распространяют, и уговорите их прекратить. Или убейте их. И то, и то нас устроит. Еще вопросы? Никак нет. Вы выезжаете немедленно. Честь имеем. Честь имеем. Ладно, господа. Здесь наши пути расходятся. Удачи вам. И вам. Что ты там увидел, Саш? Мне кажется, там что-то есть. В кустах. Что? По-моему, это сундук. Сундук? В кустах? Как он там оказался? Упал с телеги? Потом отрастил крылья и взлетел на холм? Давайте посмотрим. Заперт. Может быть, где-то поблизости есть ключ? То, что мы нашли сундук в какой-то глуши, уже достаточно странно. Если мы еще и ключ найдем, это будет вообще несуразно. И зачем нам к черту ключ? Это сундук, а не сейф. Давайте его просто взломаем. Извиняюсь. 
Что-то внутри. Похоже на меч. И все? Один только меч? Кто использует целый сундук для хранения одного меча? И зачем они его оставили тут, в глуши? Это кажется нормальным почему-то. Но просто подумайте, насколько это абсурдно. Ты что делаешь? Беру меч. Зачем? У тебя же есть палаш. Может быть, этот лучше, чем тот, который у меня. С чего бы. Они все примерно одинаковые. Только твой палаш чистый и наточенный, а этот меч старый, ржавый и покрыт бог весь чем. Наверное, вы правы. Пойдемте. Okay, that was a bit strange. <laughs> Pretty strange. Uh... Check. Имперская гвардия! Мы спасены! Сам император послал их, чтобы избавить нас от этих напастей! Фактись, дурак! Ты что, не слохал? Кому тирану нет до нас дела! Знамы это призраки, бесы, которые хотят обидеть госпожу. Так, что у нас тут? О, они совсем как настоящие! Мы и есть настоящий идиот! Руки прочь, пока я их тебе не отрубил! Вы не тронете госпожу! Мы все за нее животы положим. Должно быть интересно у вас, госпожа. А тебе почем? Я так и знал. Вы пришли за ней. Сгиньте, проклятые духи. What is this for dialogue? That is a bit. And now we are going to kill. Uh, now we are going to kill people because of. Ah oh, yes, okay. Um, yeah, wait. Um, that's going hard was a bit. But what a. We meeting some lunatics sitting at the road. And suddenly, a killing spree happens. I mean, I don't know the background, but. Нет. He's a bit of strange, not very really mature writing. Yeah, it seems like I don't know if this is is this game is coming with fantasy elements or if they are because they're talking about demons. And what I don't like about those RPGs is how they always make, or some of those RPGs, uh, suddenly some people sitting on the road and you immediately kill them uh, for nothing because lunatic talk. <laughs> what happened there and why we are killing them? Uh, that would be a serious thing. I mean, this game is, if this is based on 19th, 19th century Russia, There would be a serious incident if you would, I don't know, randomly on the road kill a group of people. And what is the reason for that? I hate it if, when they always do quests or whatever where people are throwing away their lives, as if there would be some... absolutely don't care for that. And that's why I like games like Age of Decadence, where developers consider also what your enemies might think, like a centurion that might attack you, but also might consider... This guy also got his order. He's not evil, born or whatever. He has an order. He ended up to be your opponent. He tries to survive and make the best out of it. And here you have some guys that are 
der ill armed talk some bullshit and engage what is obviously uh, military officials okay. uh, So what happened here? Three, four guys engaged us, engaged trained officers while being on a dispatch. Why should they do that? Why should they throw away their lives like that? Do some proper writing that is always, don't do this kiddish stuff. Sit down and think like an adult what you're doing there and what you're writing there. You wouldn't write a book about that. I don't know. Okay, but let's check it out. This is only a preview, perhaps this is something. The engine reminds me of... But it is an Unreal Tournament, I think. It was mentioned in the beginning that it is an Unreal Engine. But it looks somewhat... It's a first person now. It reminds me of... Of the... Medieval game. Kingdom Deli Deliverance. Somehow a bit. Is it Unreal? Uh, I guess it is Unreal Engine. Yeah, that is a fictional universe, exactly. It's not tied towards r the real thing, but only inspired by it. Still waiting for an RPG to come around, something like Age of Decadence, re next level of mature writing and where you reconsider every single battle and whatever, because we are talking about human beings or whatever species who want to survive, everybody wants to live, everybody wants to rule the world and not some random bandits on the road kill them as we got it 30 years the same stuff some hey give me your stuff um, and yeah get randomly ki killed but the graphics look pretty good He's a bit clunky from the movement and everything, from the animations. Let's check out the village. Uh, it's lagging a bit on the stream, it seems. Not sure why. The PC overtakes to it. Mm, I, for me, it's running fluid. My quality settings for the stream are too high. Yeah, live streaming is a bit different from recording videos. Live streaming takes a bigger hit. I'm running it fluid, but is it is it lagging for you on the stream, or is it only on my device looking like that? 
Ah, damn it, I forgot the horses. Yeah, you, no, 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 we are... Yeah, damn it, I need to pick up those horses. Uh, we, were, we were mounted, um, but had to dismount because of those lunatics suiciding into us in front of a village. Not lagging. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, might be then on my device. Some of that. That's good. Yeah, let me know if it is lagging because otherwise this video doesn't make sense. Yeah, it definitely has somewhat the age of decadence feel to it. And a bit mountain blade. I don't. I mean, the comment was looked pretty basic, but I had no time to figure it out. Sure, there was a tutorial. I didn't read through it. Um, I can't practice with my sword sword right now. Yeah, there are our horses. I like the idea. I like that you can play it with Russian English mix. I mean, sure, English is more convenient. You don't need to stare at those subtitles, but definitely uh, gives you a different immersion. And it seems like you have squad mechanics or party mechanics in this game. Ah, uh, yeah, we could, perhaps we can loot those guys. Uh, just randomly kill people. <laughs> just keep them lying around here. And move on. <laughs> um, yeah, no looting it seems. At least I see no interface option. Are we supposed to go on foot? Don't tell me that. I run away. Okay. F. Foxtrot. Just killed four guys. Five minutes later, engaged in some cash shoot. <laughs> That's what I mean, it can sometimes pull me out. Perhaps I played so many RPGs that I'm getting a bit tired of those of the same stuff. I know in other games it is the same that you kill people in the in the millions and don't don't care for that. Um, but there are some games that did it differently and now it's hard to go back to this generic video game stuff of RPG storytelling. Когда я предложил передохнуть после трех дней подряд в пути, Юра назвал меня слабаком и сказал, что у такой тряпки, как я, нет шансов. Похоже на него. И когда я наконец задремал в седле на четвертый день, Андрей ответил мне такой подзатыльник, что я упал с лошади. Веселые ребята, не могу даже... Я бы наконец-то сказал, что я не могу даже... Я бы наконец-то сказал, что я and you can't imagine that Snickers was stone hard after killing, after having a, a firefight with 10 guys, man, almost get ki getting killed, uh, sl slaying those guys apart full of his blood. Uh, two minutes later, let's talk Okay, looks like again trouble. Can I fight mounted? Uh, let, let's cock block the bridge. Будь ты проклят, болван. Мне что не видишь, они имперская гвардия. Прости, дурака, ваше благородие. Добро пожаловать в залесное. Кто здесь главный? Наш староста живет в третьем доме слева. I was about to say the frames look a bit all over the place. I don't know, could be... I really wish games always had native dialogue options. The broken English accents that are supposed to represent a different nationality are always cringe. Yeah, that is true. But um, this game doesn't have that. I saw the trailer. Hello from Sweden. Enjoying your channel. Yeah, welcome. Calabrian House. 
Uh, this game do doesn't have this. I saw the trailer or something on Steam. You can get, by the way, you can test the game for free. The preview, the 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 yeah. It is also an alpha, so this work in progress. I will add it to the title, so people won't think this is a full release. And it seems to be normal English, UK, US English. It sounds a bit. I think the Russian sounds more professional, but might be my subjective. It could be that they for English they took some guys. Uh, I, there's several games that sometimes I don't know, take YouTubers or whatever. I don't know. Which is fine. I mean, and we also need to consider that we for localization we have a standard that is not realistic. Um, think about it. What you expect in movies or video games is a different standard than what you how you talk in reality. It's also why you always what ah oh, bleat get away from the horse. Yeah, you need nobody talks like that in reality. Imagine you would be in a situation like this and talk and you talk it through like you would talk it through. Yeah, and then you uh, record it, you put it in, and people will, will tell you that sounds like 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 horse crap. Because we have a different standard for movies and games when it comes to talking, which is uh, tied because movies uh, have their roots in theater, and in theater this was of course um, also, especially in early theater, one of the major ways to tell emotions and drama before Michael Bay appeared and a <laughs> lot explosions. And yeah, but that is quite interesting because um, I just was considering it that um, that is a nice thing to think about. Yeah, can you get out of your horse? What I'm, I'm some sort of column leader here. What? Yeah, Russian Russian sounds better. I just saw the trailer. I, I'm I can't I can't give give any any I can't say anything about the English. I just saw the trailer. It sounded a bit, but I immediately when I read Russian Empire, I was hoping that I was already expecting that this might be developed by Russians. I'm not sure. I guess so. And was already striving for the native option. As in this other game, there is Polish one about this board game. What is it called? Skyte, where you can also play with Polish and English mixed. Which might sound better than the English option, depending on your taste. Yeah, the problem is I can't stop. I could reduce, I guess, because I'm running very high. Um, bit rates in order to improve the quality which can sometimes be too much for those graphic intense games talk to the Hayeswood elders man okay It's hard to believe that Hollywood, <laughs> like everyone is just chilling in the yard. Uh, it's hard to believe that Hollywood came for a theatric background with all the casual TV sense about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, movies in general are, is of course an expansion of what was the movies or the cinemas back then that was the theater. And I mean, it's uh, theaters, classic theater is not often that sophisticated like people, at least I don't think there are many classic pieces. 
be it ancient theater, be it operas, that have rather <laughs> simplistic stories. Um, and most people that go to opera or whatever, they don't even care that much for the story. <laughs> they just care for the for the singing or for uh, into the into ballet. This guy, man, what the heck is this for a um, hairstyle? Man. <laughs> that is the best hairstyle ever. Yeah, that, um, I mean, back in the days there was something like, uh, well, nowadays perhaps as well, called where they simply put uh, something on your head and then simply ra erase the hair, but that looks really crazy. That is the uh, most hardcore Topfschnitt I ever seen. Which? Она жила в той избе на холме всю мою жизнь. В основном держалась сама по себе, но доселе никому не вредила. Мы ходили к ней, когда хворали, и она давала нам травы и зелья. Но одним днем, по весне, она исчезла без следа. Два месяца ее не было. Сваталась с дьяволом, знамо. Этот рассказ к чему-то ведет? Да, ваше благородие. Две недели назад она вернулась. It's of course also with, um, as, yeah, with emotional language, it is of course also easier to transport emotions to your audience. But there's definitely a difference how we talk in reality and how, uh, what we expect or the standard we expect how people talk in movies, there's an absolute difference. Could, could, could hold in real, real life an impressive speech, if you would record it, put it in a movie or something, people would think that is... Uh, unprofessional or whatever. Это ведьма кому-нибудь на самом деле навредила? Да, ваше благородие, она пыталась. Она пыталась, но мы ей не дозволили. На день после ее возвращения она спустилась со своего холма в деревню, чтобы почать свое злое колдовство. Наши мужики, они ослабли, завидев ее. <laughs> yeah, I think it was also funny with that bombastic Russian. Yeah, I mean, that is, of course, also entertainment, yeah. Uh, if you talk normally, it is not uh, uh, everything about naturalistic realism. People want to be entertained, sure, and... Those hands are interesting. Quite unique hands for video games, but good. Давай про то, как она кому-то навредила. Да, ваше благородие. Позже в тот же день группа странников пришла к нам в деревню. Мы их остерегли об окаянной блуднице, которая живет на холме. Но вместо того, чтобы ее сторониться, как богобоязненные люди, они зачем-то вздумали ее проведать. They normally often don't show those hands because it is hard to do proper hands in video game. Эти чудовища, которых ты упомянул, расскажи поподробнее. Да, ваше благородие. Это самое главное. Как-то ночью мы услышали странные звуки. Perfect cut. Ночной лес всегда полон странных звуков. Нет, ваше благородие. And then combined with a bird, uh, that is absolutely not. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Их вожак был воистину огромен, ростом три человека и с рогами, гигантскими жуткими рогами. Или помыслить ваше благородие, это было не просто чудище. Сам дьявол разради меня громом. Он поглядел на меня своим дурным оком и так... Хватит. Начинай сначала. А? Чего? В этот раз не забывай, что вранье имперскому офицеру подлежит высшей мере наказания. Высшей мере? Что это значит, ваше благородие? Если соврешь нам еще раз, мы тебя повесим. О, молю, пощади, ваше благородие. Я... Ты видел этого дьявола или нет? Нет. Но остальное... Остальное сказал, как было. Ты видел людей с головами волков? Накажи меня, Бог, ежели вру. Мы их увидали и побежали. Побежали, что было сил. Что-нибудь еще необычное было? Было. Деревенское кладбище около леса. На той неделе среди ночи что-то вскопала часть могил. Они что-нибудь взяли? Мощикой там покоились. Могилы были опустошены. No maladies. Yeah, I could imagine that it's some people that wear masks or whatever. I didn't see anything in the game. Art that could indicate that this is going for fantasy. This piece and whatever. Could be, uh, imagine that some individuals wearing stuff like this. This game is a more and this Tolstoy's War and Peace. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Yeah, I would like to have more games about this era. I mean, it's not easy to make a RPG. There are some options. There was a game called On the Mountain Blade Engine. I even own it. But it's simply underdeveloped. What is it called? With fire and sword. Then there is a mod for Mountain Blade. Think about the Napoleonic era. She's a bit earlier. But definitely underexplored in adventures and. Мы все как один любим императора, батюшку, как отца родного. Да, ваше благородие. Вы не услыхаете такой молвы в этой деревне. Но где-то вы все-таки слышали подобные разговоры. Помилуй, ваше благородие. Мы богобоязненный люд и не столь глупы. Хорошо. Благодарим за информацию. Мы постараемся выяснить, что тут происходит. А вы пока помоете и накормите наших лошадей. Слушаюсь, ваше благородие. Господь будь с вами. Последний раз я слышал подобные байки в детстве от бабушки. Но они должны же быть на чем-то основаны. Понятно, что он преувеличивает. Maybe Mount Blade was fire and sword for the Cossack area. Этих разбойников и пустые могилы будет несложно пройти. Yeah, exactly. Меня больше интересует эта ведьма. Если она хотя бы на. Yeah, the the Russian sounds definitely decent, good quality. Неудивительно. А это not professional language, but I mean from the Quality, tone, and uh, uh, yeah, everything sounds good. And yeah, the graphics also. I like the uniforms. So it is running good. As I mentioned, I marked. Didn't I didn't reset my my bit rate. Could be that it's looking a bit. I mean, we can go a bit down, so it isn't t taxing. Or perhaps it is window full screen. Let's see. Does this change anything? Well, no, it looks better, but if it is too hardcore, I don't want to release a lagging video or whatever. Uh, tell me I will set those settings a bit down. 
I have the bitrate bit, bit rate running a bit too high. Ah, okay, so we have some more talks to attend, I guess. Yeah, there's not many games. I mean, there is a mod, the mod for Warband in the Napoleonic era, or as in the 19th uh, century. Uh, there's a lot of mods for Warband. But yeah, true, there's not many games, especially no RPGs. Uh, I also don't know any. And the RPG aspect in Warband war is a different one. Мне надо, чтобы вы принесли мне 15 волчьих шкур, 30 слитков железа и 50 букетов диких цветов. Эм, как именно эти вещи помогут тебе починить телегу? И что тебе мешает нанять для этого местных? Yeah, Warband has three a ton of mods. Да ты спятил что ли? Мы что, выглядим как будто нам нечем заняться? Like Medieval Total War 2, uh, Medieval 2 Total War has a mod for everything. If you look for Grand Strategy with tactical real-time combat, so Mountain Blade has everything for this sandbox RPG fans. Ну, если вы хотите сэкономить время, может быть, вы мне просто денег дадите? Таким образом, вы все равно получите награду, и вам делать ничего не придется. Да как ты смеешь? И ты не похож на человека, нуждающегося в деньгах. I mean, now it is improving. I just was wondering in the beginning. But it is a demo. Yeah, it is a preview. So I'm pretty sure they will start the game differently when it starts. So everything is... Work in progress. Because you start a game and suddenly <laughs> there's a chest and you can pick it up or not. And then you kill some random people. They are just serving as a combat tutorial. I think that should be rather done like in. Um, what was it called? Uh, in, in Kingdom Deliverance. You first train in combat, uh, you do some combat training and that is also the combat tutorial. I mean, in Kingdom Deliverance you also kill a lot of stuff depending on how you play it, but it is at least you have some sense or some respect of life there. Especially your first opponents might be, sure, at one point you might become also some Imba guy and simply slay, slay everybody. But in the beginning, you are, have quite a respect for initiating combat and I think that is especially important for games that have a tie to realism. Even if this game is not based on a historical background, just inspired by it, it would feel strange if I would kill all over the place, but it's currently doesn't look like that. Just getting some random people there on the road, leaving them back and have a casual talk. So we are now investigating, right? Can I equip a weapon? Okay, guys. Now let's check out what are those beasts, witches, and bandits about. Черт меня побери. Да ты правда вскопал могилы. Местные разбойники? Не исключено. Они выглядели достаточно безумными. Не вижу никаких следов людей волку. Тебя это удивляет? Вон та могила, она свежая. Староста ничего не говорил про недавнюю смерть в деревне. Нет, не говорил. Are you going to play more Gates of Hell? Seems like it's very popular on YouTube, at least according to my feed. 
Yeah, I can imagine. Um, yeah, I don't play games. Mm. Based on popularity, <laughs> I would play absolutely different games on my channel. Um, yeah, I mean, Gate of Hell, Gates of Hell is an interesting game, but I'm more the combat mission guy. I'm waiting for the releases of the Eastern Front expansion of combat mission. Gates of Hell, that is basically this Man of War successor or Man of War style game. I can understand why people love this game, it is cool, it offers a lot of options. But it's not entirely my thing. So the next you in this in this regard you can expect from me is combat mission, fire and rubble, the expansion for Red Thunder, the final drive on Berlin. But we checked it out and it looks pretty good if you look for something like that looks like they improved a lot graphics look good mm, do i need to do something here i mean that is quite problematic that <laughs> those graves are open so what are you doing with those corpses Okay, let's check out the next. Yeah, but interesting visuals. It has somehow reminds me of indeed of the of of Kingdom Deliverance. To some extent it reminds me of Mountain Blade, I don't know why. Perhaps it is a running animation. Yeah, I think it is a running animation that looks very similar to Mountain Blade somehow. I don't know. Yeah, I was really having good hopes in Mountain Blade 2, but I don't know, is it really uh, getting mixed information about this game? And a lot of mods are continue to work on the classic Warband engine, that, is, that somehow made me a bit con concerned, why should modders work on a... Perhaps the engine is not ready yet, but I mean, they, didn't they made a ton of money with this warband? Every guy that I know owns warband. It's classic. Even the normal mountain blade was popular already. Makes sense, gotta stick to what you like, looking forward to a combat mission. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Um, I like sometimes to explore new area eras, I don't stick only to games that are traditional to this channel. And But yeah, I don't play for popular popularity. If that would be my main thing, I would have played other games right from the beginning. And always mention the video, leave a li like and a subscribe and follow me on, I don't know, Twitter. But yeah, uh, nevertheless, Gate of Gates of Hell looks quite good. Not everybody needs full realism. Absolutely fine, play what you enjoy. Only basement dwellers try to dictate you what to play <laughs> and or how to play. Uh, how can I reach? Oh, damn it, we need to go around this complete thing. Yeah, I think the. Oh, I can't move up here, that is too hard for my officer feet. Come on. No, my, my uniform will get dirty. Come on. Make it happen. Oh wait, so we find, no. Yeah, that is of course a bit nuts. I mean, if the graveyard, grave, graveyard is here, 
you should expect that the player will venture this route and then suddenly he can't. And I think the race doesn't look that steep. That feels a bit limited and unnecessary. Ну ты и дурень. Почему сразу дурень-то? Как почему? По телегу с горшками кто перевернул? Боролся него вчера, как свинья. И вот тебе, на. Ну да, употребил слегка. Что такого? Что такого? Набирай давай. А почему сразу я-то? Ты, ты ж телегу перевернул окаянный. А я тут-то при чем? Это все зелье виноват. How did they manage that? To, to get from this road towards there? Yeah, what is this here? Some romance. What the heck is this? Oh, okay, that is... Uh, See, trying to impress a girl <laughs> somewhere in the middle of the woods. Some random... Если верить старости, дом ведьмы должен быть на этом холме. Интересно, он на курих ножках? Скоро узнаем. Староста говорил про густые волосы и большую пышную грудь. Такая злая магия как раз по мне. Ты не опасаешься? Чего? То она тебя в лягушку превратит. Ты читаешь мои мысли. Со мной все будет в порядке. К тому же все, что вам надо будет сделать, это отнести меня к принцессе, чтобы она меня поцеловала. Это работает только по настоящей А почему бы меня не полюбить-то? Да, конечно. Но в любом случае, я думаю, я лучше поселю тебя в своем пруду. Рад слышать, что... А, окей, это improving, это improving. Не переживай. Я тебя буду кормить только самыми лучшими мухами и комарами во всей империи. Друг как друг. Uh, for me, it was running something like proper, but yeah, it's definitely on the higher performance need games. Why can't I go up here? Why is it limited? I want to take a look. I mean, it seems like you can take a look, but you're limited to this road. Hey! 
Yeah, but the combat or the initiation of combat has improved that is a bit. The combat is quite. How did I. Ah, uh, okay. What? Ah, okay. I'm out of. Um, need to reload. Am I too fatigued? Yeah, combat needs to improve drastically. And also, yeah, guys, wait, you. Hey, Jimmy, you fight well. Yeah, give him one. Absolutely fair. And what is this? The rest, the rest is watching. <laughs> okay, are we done here? Yeah, combat is... Combat is... <laughs> is combat. Shun Tzu, Art of War. That is absolutely... needs needs to be reworked and... Also, those encounters, I mean... So, we just killed five random guys. Ten seconds later, it is my pleasure to meet you. How about, I don't know, having a walk in the park? I think we have each other to tell a lot of stuff and... I w I'm definitely interested in finding out more about you. Uh, yeah, don't mind the blood on me. I just killed some random dudes that were sitting in front of your house and seem to be protect you so you, it is definitely sure that this is not a danger for me here you are not concerned that we killed your guards what is this is a lollipop <laughs> this dialogue is the most cringe dialogue I have ever seen in a <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> How casual they talk about, about, the, about the matter that is simply... Uh, that that has to improve that is I mean think it through that is not that is ...ぶりに見てみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみてみ
Simply kill some random armed dudes in front of a uh, of your crush house, and it definitely is a good opener. It is definitely a good opener. Uh, you have definitely something to talk about. If you ever worried about having a topic to start on, this will definitely give you the drive. And look at this, she is, she is absolutely on fire. She can't sto stop anymore. I don't even know what we are talking about, but she is absolutely, absolutely excited and up, forgot about those cut-off hats in front of her door. Yeah, whoever, whoever made this choice, that is genius. That is exactly, that is exactly what I have to press. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, okay, <laughs> the face of this guy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get to the point. Я прибыла сюда ночью, и на следующее утро спустилась в деревню, чтобы познакомиться с жителями. Я привыкла ко вниманию, но тут мое присутствие вызвало настоящий ажиотаж. Все мужики бросились меня приветствовать, но перед тем, как я успела полноценно представиться, эти кикиморы накинулись на меня. Они меня обозвали всеми грязными словами, которые я знаю, и многими, которых я даже никогда не слышала. Потом они начали кидать меня камни и угрожать меня убить. Сжечь на костре, если быть точной. У меня не было выбора, кроме как убежать обратно сюда. Я понятия не имею, по какой причине эти женщины так меня возненавидели. Я вижу парочку причин. Очень даже неплохой формы. Господин. I would advise you to cover up. Cover up what? The décolleté? <laughs> what does that mean? Because she has a quite a deep um, insight. I would advise you to cover up. Or cover up what? Cover up that we um, murder, uh, killed those people there. I need to press this because um, I'm not exactly sure what this means. Yeah, okay, this meaning the um, cover up um, uh, her, her decollete. Oh man, now we are, now we are here in. Um, yeah, where's the option? Is that. Деревенские тебе причинили какой-нибудь вред? Помимо нескольких синяков нет. А вскоре появились эти разбойники. I'm pretty sure. Никого ко мне не подпускали. Causing this bloodshed there in front of your door will help the villagers to like you. Мне надеется, что местные ко мне стынут. Надо бы убедиться в этом. Деревенские говорят, что ты изменила свою внешность при помощи колдовства. Вот как мне сказали. At least it is entertaining, <laughs> definitely. Нет, они сказали, что ты когда-то была седой старухой до того, как посваталась с дьяволом. Старухой? Мне 24. О, господи, насколько же они тут твердолобые. Седая старуха. Это была моя бабушка. Она тут жила всю свою жизнь. А я выросла в городе с папой. Она приехала ко мне в гости несколько месяцев назад, но к несчастью заболела. Are we now in Witcher territory or what? I'm waiting for one option to pop up. Here, option guard, guard, guard the house. I have to, uh, to have a private conversa conversation. Yeah, what is with those local monsters? Tell me that. Только рассказы, которые я слышала среди своих бывших охранников. Yeah, okay. I mean, we already have an idea that this will be probably some individuals wearing masks, not really some fantasy monsters. Что-то разорвало на куски четыре дня назад. Староста ничего про это не сказал. Интересно. Я не смею любопытствовать, господа, 
Но я сомневаюсь, что три имперских гвардейца прискакали сюда из-за каких-то местных суеверий. Возможно, я могу быть вам чем-то полезной? Кто-то распространяет слухи, обвиняя государя во всех тех ужасах, которые якобы тут происходят. Ты ничего об этом не слышала? А, я тут недавно, но мои так называемые защитники упоминали какого-то мудреца, что он открывает глаза угнетенным или что-то в этом роде. По сути, они из-за него тут и оказались. Они шли, чтобы с ним повидаться. По-моему, они говорили, что он около старого места. Я знаю это место. Отсюда несколько часов верхом. Благодарим за помощь. К вашим услугам, господа. Да, Юра. Окей, это это вот. Господин. Thank you. Благодарим за... К вашим услугам. Окей. Okay. Yeah, somebody got rid of those bodies. Very good. Ну, конечно, она выглядит довольно доступной, но мне кажется, что потаскуха дьявола это перебор. Я был бы не против узнать ее получше. Жаль, что мы торопимся. Мне показалось вполне хорошей девушкой. И совершенно неудивительно, что местные женщины от ее присутствия не в восторге. Куда более удивительно, это преданность мужиков, которые ее охраняли. Что-то тут не так. Я много повидал испуганных людей, но не таких, как эти. Может быть, дело не в испуге? А в чем? Ты ее видел? Ничего такая. Ничего? Если бы нас с Сашей тут не было, ты бы узнавал ее получше прямо сейчас. Ну, я бы ее, конечно, трахнул, но не стал бы за нее умирать. Эти мужики сделали наоборот. Вот чего я не понимаю. Ты никогда не видел, чтобы мужчина отдал свою жизнь за красивую женщину? Видел. И никогда этого не понимал. Зачем я даже пытаюсь? Нам надо найти этого мудреца на хуторах. Но сначала меня интересует этот парень, которого якобы разорвали на части. Давайте спросим местных. Yeah, I mean the quest thing. Они врачаются. Смотри в оба. Ведьма должно быть их тоже заворожила. Молчи, дурень. Они имперская гвардия. Уж они то смышляют, как бороться с дьявольским колдовством. Вы двое, парни из этой деревни, недавно что-то разорвало на части. Вам что-нибудь об этом известно? Знаю ваше высокородие. Дьявольские чудища. Они оторвали ему руки и ноги. Кто нашел его труп? И где? На хуторах, около старого монастыря. Тамошние мужики принесли его нам. Все дороги ведут к монастырю. Сначала нам надо осмотреть его останки. Где он захоронен? Так, на кладбище, ваше благородие. Берите лопату и пойдемте с нами. Но ваше благо... Высок... Высокобродие. Там проклятое чудище. Это был приказ, а не просьба. Слушаемся, ваш брат. Черт меня побери. Кто ты и правда вскопал могилы? Местные разбойники? Не исключено. Они выглядели достаточно безумными. Не вижу Deja -vu. следов людей волков. Тебя это удивляет? Вон та могила. Она свежая. <coughs> Копайте, ребята. Фу, ну и запах. Ладно, давайте постараемся понять, что с ним случилось. Конечно, не в клочья разорван, но все же. Обе руки и одна нога отделены от туловища, вторая нога сильно вывихнута. Староста правду сказывал, ваш братик. Ни один человек не мог этого сделать. Только чудище такая сила отдадена. Ты что думаешь, Саш?
is that a is that a educated statement or simply talking hot air? Where ripped off are you? Do you have medical training? Can you tell that or? Мягкие ткани вокруг его суставов изорваны. Его конечности вырвали, они отрубили. Требуется немалая сила, чтобы вырвать человеку руки и ноги. Yeah, I need to do an investigation. I'm not here in. If you have an ongoing investigation, you don't need to do to issue a verdict in the middle of that. Мы знаем, что чудовищ не бывает. Должно быть логическое объяснение. Дай бог. Посмотрите на его лицо. Все в синяках. Выбиты зубы. Вы его знали? Да, ваш высокороде. Он с нашей деревни. Пропал с месяц назад, кажись. Он явно умер не настолько давно. Да, ваш брат. Его нашли четыре дня назад. Где он был весь прошлый месяц? У чудищ, ваше благородие. Никому в деревне не знамо, что им с него было надо. Понятно. У него были враги? Враги? Не о вашем высокороде. Он был тихий парень. Николи ни в какие неприятности не лез. Однако кто-то его хорошенько помял. Он был сильно избит перед смертью, готов поспорить людьми. Посмотрите поближе на его запястья и щиколотки. Свежие шрамы. Ожоги от веревок. Кто-то его связал. У него что-то в башмаке. Интересно. Бумажка с какими-то каракулями. Что там написано? Не могу ничего разобрать. Вряд ли он был грамотным. Что он там нацарапал, было понятно ему одному. В лучшем случае. Но я не думаю, что крестьянские каракули представляют для нас какой-то интерес. Карманы пусты. Может быть, его ограбили? Ну так что думаете с ним произошло? Ты нам скажи. Вот так. He was killed by a romantic rival. Yeah. Why do I have to make to do this decision? Yeah, I don't know. Даже не представляю. А ты постарайся. But that's not how you do it. You not look at a corpse and then pull off a, a doctor house or a Columbo. He was killed by a monster, I guess, because he was quartered by horses. I mean, that option stands out a bit. All limbs were teared apart. Tearing apart a limb from a human body requires strength that is usually hard to to achieve by manual force alone. So quartering by horses would be a real realistic option. Конечности оторваны от туловища, а жоги от веревок на его запястье. Exactly, and those ropes, ropes. Правда, у человека не хватило бы силы это сделать, а вот лошади смогли бы. Очень хорошо, Саш. Я. Yeah, boy, we are really crazy investigators. А вот он плохо к ней относился. Да, или мы быть может он мало ее кормил и она сголодалась. Его руки и ноги привязали веревками к лошадям и четвертовали. Мы... мы до того не додумали, ваш брат. Поразительно. Мы видели достаточно. Закопайте его обратно. Слушаемся, ваш благородие. Wait, I changed my mind. It was a suicide. He tied himself to four horses. Can I change it? No. Now, okay, so we discovered. So I guess that was basically 
we know that the witch is not a, not Rhea witch, but assembly has some quarrel there with with a village which might be caused because she is getting the attention of the village man. Yeah, and this thing was probably, I don't know what, who did that to him, and why, and about the bandits, I guess it was mentioned somewhere. But no signs or no evidence of supernatural incidents here. The suicide claim is the most Russian thing ever. Why? Is that hot bimbul? The, what do you mean? Yeah, they, you, the village people were thinking that she is a witch. And I don't know what those men were doing there. I mean, it's a bit, from the realism standpoint, the writing is a bit, I must say, a bit not really super sophisticated. Could be worked out better. All the stuff I read and experienced here in this village. And what's about those bandits? Wait, we had some guys, what did she say us about, what did they say about, yeah, I, for, I, I don't know, let's see what happens. Russia has a history of police claiming suicide for political murder to this day, I didn't know that. So you mean that they are rather fast was claiming it was a suicide before properly investigating if it was caused by yeah by influence of others or is it only for political murders okay next uh, Я еще ни разу не был так далеко на юге. Эти земли были оккупированы в Лазарской империи почти четыре года во время предыдущей войны, пока наши полки не оттолкнули их за реку, за Велесу, на их территорию. Это было два года назад. Нам это преподавали в Академии. Они вам упомянули, что вскоре после этого Аблазары разбили нашу армию и оттолкнули нас обратно через эту чертову реку. Упомянули. Но они подчеркнули, что мы потерпели это поражение из-за предательств некоторых наших союзников и неблагоприятных условий. Особенно подчеркнули, что Just important opposition figures and journalists throwing themselves out the window and starting shooting themselves. Yeah, yeah I think um, you mentioned Russia. There's still, still to this very day a quite interesting case. Um, when the invasion of Iraq was commenced by the Western Allies, dominated by the UK and US. The 2003 invasion, which was based on the information that 
Saddam Hussein has NBC weaponry ready, which in the end proved to be wrong. There was a weapon expert, a British weapon expert, who was basically stating exactly that, that all those claims are false. And suddenly he ended up somewhere in a bush. And that was quite crazy. On the, I mean, nobody knows what happens, but I think I read the, something about the autopsy and whatever. You know, in, in many Western countries, if there is an unnatural cause to death or the... Or the doubt that a death was natural, there you, uh, autopsy or abduction will be commenced, which they also did, and I don't know, it was also conflicting reports. It was quite a nutty story, and I don't know, but it sounds also like some, we will never know, but that would be quite crazy if the, if, God, what the heck, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy, man? He is some Cossack or what? Holy shit. <laughs> They're animations, man. Who are you? Why? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I shoot you in your face. Wait. Oh, damn it, I missed. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. Um, oh, uh, wait, I need to protect myself as right click. Du -du -du -du. Yeah, that was also qu quite crazy case. Oh, did I crash my game? No. What? What the heck is this for a clock? I said in game time. Wait, who played this game? 2020. Not me. <laughs> Did I receive the saves of somebody? <laughs> That's not my saves. <laughs> I don't know who saved this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is... Uh, yeah, the opposition, I mean... They're even open to that. They're even open to that, I mean... Some of those guys that got got um, got intoxicated by with um, radiation substances, r radiating substances is quite open, right? I mean, it is not really in secrecy. That is rather a statement than a that is rather a statement. And even on foreign soil. Because you don't need to do that. You can you can find other substances or other means if you want to get somebody out of the way. But if you use yeah. <laughs> those guys randomly coming around the hood, <laughs> around the house. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, my block didn't work out for some reason. Yeah, that was too early. Did that work out? Yeah, the combat system is really... I mean, not because I died. Even if I wouldn't die, it, is, it feels very, very strange. And I don't know why, who is this guy, why we need to fight again, and what is going on. It's not that any superpowers are angels, yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. If you check the history of the US, of course, there was especially the Cold War and South America, Middle East. Coupling governments, whatever. 
funding this and that. Yeah, this is a dirty business. This is not a business about good and bad. It is simply dirty. The deeper you dig into it, that the more dirty it gets, especially this. The intelligence section or special force section as well. That involves a lot of dirty work. Who are those guys? Are they some Cossacks? Just <laughs> sitting there without... I don't need a shirt. Yeah, this guy looks surprised. Are they, uh, are those guys are the bandits? <laughs> that is the most cringe dialogue. Uh. <laughs> so, let's roll! Yes! But where the... Oh, they got strong. Oh, get away! Not you! Oh, not you again! Uh, it's blocking. Uh, I still don't have the timing out. Look at that. The Hello! Ah, okay, my... my Yeah, okay, uh, my... Um, f I was too fatigued for dodging. Yeah, interesting game. Um, <laughs> check it out. And yeah, in my opinion, there's a long way to go, especially when it comes to the writing. The writing feels not really mature. Yeah, combat is a bit. Strange, but it is a. I think it is um, stating it is a alpha. Yeah, alpha is of course. I mean, nowadays they state everything better alpha, early access. It doesn't matter anymore. Those those terms don't matter anymore. Um, but yeah, I've, I will add it to the title that is work in progress, so people realize that this is still worked on. I mean, there are many games that rather looked rough in the early versions and then become more fleshed out could be also that the dialogue will change they might revise it because um, the dialogue seems to be to the most part rather on a lower quality level China and Liria's concentration camps 2021. The world hasn't changed much. Yeah, people will be. People are still cruel to each other, unfortunately. Oh, damn it, I opened my browser. Okay, yeah, um, I will play something else tonight. I got some games, I can't remember what. But yeah, it will give me five to ten minutes to figure out what I want to play, and then we'll, I will return. And I will definitely keep an eye out for this. <laughs> 